Hi, this is the third video of uh, basic boiler maintenance and uh, we're going to call it this old boiler. <laughs> Today we're going to uh, talk about changing the sight glass out. Uh, yours might be broken or dirty and uh, needs to be changed so you can visually see the level of water in the boiler. Um, I did mine about when I did this first video I, I changed the sight glass out and um, I didn't even think about filming it until a couple people wanted to see it. So let's get going. Um, basically when you, when you show up here you're going to have uh, these, these two knobs. They're, they're going to be loose. Okay? They should be loose normally. So we're going to go ahead and tighten, up, tighten them up to just pretty much close off these points so water doesn't come, uh, come out when the uh, sight glass is taken off. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten these up. Righty tighty. Righty tighty. There's a couple uh, of uh, poles here rods that are, I guess they're pr protective for the glass so the glass doesn't break. So I'm going to go ahead and take these out. Uh, when I first took them out on my, the original time I did it without videoing it, these were all corroded. I had to get some sandpaper and uh, just sand them off a little bit and I threw some uh, grease on there and then wiped the grease off so there's a real thin layer of grease on here and uh, it makes them come out easier. So you may have a, a problem getting these things out initially but um, just work on it with some sandpaper and uh, a um, little bit of grease and they should come right out. So you take those guys out and now uh, loosen these two nuts up so the water's off so nothing's going nothing's to happen. They're already pretty loose because there's, some, there's uh, two rubber washers in here, threaded washers. So you don't have to tighten them really tight when you, when you uh, put it back on. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and take these off now. Maybe it's not, <laughs> not quite loose enough yet. When I do take them off, they're going to be uh, a little bit of water is going to come out. The water that's in the sight glass is going to come out. That should be good right there. I'll be really careful not to break this glass. Not that it's a big deal if it does break, but then that now you got now you got to go to the store. Da 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 da. -da. Why am I having a hard time with this guy? Oh, because I've been tightening it. Let's try this again. There we go. I was tightening it instead of loosening it. All right. So now here we go. This is coming off. And the water is going to come out a little bit so I have a pan down here to catch the water. Or you could just clean it up off the floor. Alright, so this nut is loose. Okay? Next nut, here comes the water. Water's coming out. See that? Alright, no big deal there. Take it all the way off. Take this one off. Here are these two rubber. Um, washers I was telling you about, they're threaded. And I'm going to go ahead and take this light glass out. And mine is not that dirty. Mine's pretty clean. There's a little bit, little bit of dirt up here. I tried to clean this off a long time ago and I, I really couldn't get it out. It doesn't matter. It's hidden up here anyway. So I, I would just take the sight glass and I'm going to rinse mine out right now. I have a bucket of water down here. There we go. There's another washer under here. We'll just keep that guy right where it's at. No reason to move, remove anything. And now it's time to put it back. So you put it back up in here. And you may need to reposition these uh, rubber washers a little bit. So you have a little bit of glass on each side of the washer. And then just tighten them up. It's easy as that. Sometimes I like to throw some lubricant in here. I don't know what the pros do, but I personally wouldn't mind having a little bit of just a tiny bit. You don't have to saturate it, just get a little bit in there and then wipe it off just to keep the uh, keep some of the rust out of there because it is all iron. A lot of it's iron I believe. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten these up. Let's go ahead and get, get them finger tightened.
wipe that off and put it back on. Finger tight these guys. And I'll give them a little crank too. I just want to make sure I'm turning it the right way this time. You don't want to crank it too tight because you don't want to break it. But I don't think it would break if you cranked it on too tight. But you never know. There we go. That's pretty good. Wipe all this stuff off. We'll put the uh, little protectors back on there and reintroduce the water. We should be all set. It's a really easy job, really easy thing to do. And if you do break the glass for whatever reason, you know, because the first time I did it, I was worried about breaking the glass. I'm sure you could just go to Ace Hardware and uh, just bring your old one in there that's broken and uh, I'm sure they would have it. They could just cut a piece of glass. I've seen them in Home Depot before too. So now it's all set up. I'm going to go ahead and reintroduce the water. I'll do it really slow so you can see. So I'm loosening them both slowly. Here comes the water. I'll get behind it so you have a little background to see the water coming up on. There you go. Loosen them up and you're all done. Make sure there's no leaks. And that's it. The water is dirty, but uh, you know, once it settles, it'll clean up. Anyway, I uh, make sure there's no leaks on here. So far, so good on mine. Nothing's leaking. If it is leaking, I would imagine it's those washers. And just make sure it's you know just a little tighter than finger tight. And that's it, you guys. I appreciate you watching the videos. If you have any other. Um, suggestions on videos you want to see. Um, I've got a lot of old stuff that needs to be fixed. I like old things. My house is 1922. This is a uh, converted coal boiler. Um, it's converted over to gas now. And I have an old, uh, got a 1936 Ford Coupe I'm restoring. I like old things. The only thing I don't like is uh, old girlfriends. <laughs> see I'm funny, you didn't know that. Anyway, uh, if you have any, any suggestions or tips, please feel free to uh, comment on them. I, I really appreciate it because I'm learning like everyone else is. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.